What's up everybody, welcome to another episode of the Knowledge Bomb. Boom! Boom! <laughs> that was fucking terrible. Episode 417, I'm not gonna let that hold me back. Today we're gonna talk about deficit deadlifts. So, we've done a Knowledge Bomb on deficit deadlifts, but why do we do deficit deadlifts? So, I'm gonna show you a deficit deadlift from a sumo. Now, you know I'm standing on something, so I have to pull the bar a further distance, which means I have to create more speed from a longer distance, and it puts me in a unique kind of position. So I have to go down, fight for the same position as I would when I'm here, right? So if I'm here, I can get to the bar way easier. When I go to a deficit, it's a two inch difference. So I've got to still fight for position, fight for, for position, and then speed through. Now, when you start to make big weights at a deficit, and then you come to a normal one, you should feel like you're in the fucking zone. Bang, same type of thing. Now, what I also like, if you do conventional at a deficit, it's harder on your lower back because you're obviously gonna be bent over a little bit more. So you gotta really wedge in. If you wedge in properly at, at lower weights, it'll almost pull itself off the ground anyway. Boom. So you should feel almost like you wedge yourself in, whether it's sumo, whether it's conventional, so well that your hamstrings are gonna engage, your hips are gonna engage, and it's almost gonna pull it off the ground anyway. That's how you can tell that your positioning is real good. Deficit deadlifts will teach you how to wedge in, create more speed on the bar, and get you real comfortable in your just overall just form. So people ask all the time, like, why would we do it that way? Why would we do it that way? We're making it harder through the conjugate method. So when you go to the meets, so when you pull PRs, it makes it feel easy. All right, conjugate, deficit deadlift, knowledge bomb, episode 417.